All-Star Weekend is coming up. Actually, do we have any participants in any of the All-Star events? Here's your dunk contest participants. You got the Thompson brothers and then Sharp and Henderson both on the same team. Portland has some athleticism out here. Three-point contest. Gonna put JT Thor out there. Buzelis is on Team World. That's the Rising Stars game. Do we have any All-Stars? Pascal Siakam has made the Eastern All-Star. There's a lot of injuries, bro. Let's take a look at the award races. Jokic is in the lead for MVP, but Wemby close behind. You got Tyrese, Giannis, AD. No one on the Flint Tropics in the running. Rookie of the year. Where's Buzelis? Buzelis not in the running. Six man of the year. Lonzo. Lonzo's been coming off the bench. Yo, that's fine with me, I guess, because if he wins an award, we could give him a tier three spin. Look at Ben Simmons in the running for six man of the year. Defensive player of the year, he goes Wemby. Most improved. Okay, no one on the tropics. Kia clutch player. Let's simulate past All-Star Week and see if we could beat the Magic. Hold on, we can't beat the Magic. Siakam dropped 29, though. 23 from Franz. And remember, if someone drops 40 points in a game or drops a triple-double, we're going to give them a tier 3 spin. But yeah, we lose that game. Still should be a top of the conference. Take a look at what happened in this game. Buzel is out there. 8 and 7. Okay, 2 of 9 shooting could be better. And he got blown out in this game. I was low-key going to give him a wheel spin, but you got blown out, brother. Trey Young won the three-point contest, and Scoot Henderson won the dunk contest. How did Siakam? Siakam, three points? Wow, man, you did not represent the Flint Tropics in a positive manner. And you lost the game. With that being said, though a weak eastern conference we're sitting at the top of it pretty much let's simulate to the end of the season see if anyone on our team wins an award or drops 40 plus i might drop it to 35 plus for the tier three spin but let's just simulate regular season Jokic takes home mvp Sar is your rookie of the year. Lonzo Ball, six man of the year. I'll take it. He gets a tier three spin. Let's see what upgrade Lonzo Ball is going to get for winning six man of the year. Who won an award last year? Oh, yeah, it was Wiseman who won most improved. <gasps> Yo, this is huge. Plus three potential to Lonzo Ball. That means during player progression, he's going to get even more better lonzo ball man his potential across the board is an 84 forgot what overall he is now but all this gets increased by three so it becomes an 87 to all of them so a pretty good upgrade anthony davis is your defensive player of the year bilal kulubali most improved jason tatum clutch player of the year mark dagna and the thunder gm is executive of the year all right so our hope here on all nba team is hopefully siaka made it so he could get an upgrade he's not in the all nba first team not in the all nba second team and he's not in the all nba third team maybe a defensive team for somebody on our team we got great defenders Unfortunately, no rewards, but Luka Doncic makes it all rookie team. Let's go. Buzelis makes an all rookie team. He gets a spin. I think all rookie second team will only get a tier two spin. It's still a pretty good spin, though. Some solid upgrades here. He did get a Hall of Fame badge in the previous episode, so that's kind of crazy. And now he gets a gold badge as well after getting a Hall of Fame badge in the previous episode. Buzelis getting a gold badge. We did give him Hall of Fame speed boost in a previous episode. Combine that with gold blow by. Hold on. Buzelis is going to be a demon. Wow, we actually dropped to the three seed. Not the best end to the season. We could have definitely secured the one seed. We'll take a top three seed, I guess. Very weak East, though. The top record was 49 and 33. That would be a seven seed in the West as the Thunder take the one seed over here our leading scorer on the season was pascal siakam almost 21 points per game nine rebounds almost five assists he was doing it all out there for us a very good acquisition in free agency then it was lonzo ball Jaden mcdaniels putting up 15 a game did not expect that wiseman i expected to be a little bit more dominant but then you got double digit you're serving getting minutes putting up 10 a game can't be mad at that bull bull getting 10 a game can't be mad at yo you're serving low-key putting up the same numbers as bull bull caruso putting up 10 points a game and Bronny james 
has yet to play a minute in the NBA. Let's simulate the play-in, and we have a first round matchup against the Chicago Bulls, three seed versus six seed. Let's take a look at their lineup. They got Kobe White, Levine, Dante Exum, Aaron Gordon, and Pirtle. They got Brogdon, Cam Johnson, Bruce Brown off the bench. Okay. They got some tremendous role players off the bench, not gonna lie to you. But this team doesn't really scare me. Taking a look at our team, our team is pretty happy, bro. But Bull Bull is fed up and is minus four overalls. Why, bro? You're literally our starting center. You're literally our starting center. Are you upset your servant's putting up better numbers than you? With the playoffs here, we're gonna run an eight-man rotation. Oh, and coach actually prefers your servant over Bull Bull. We got to adjust this rotation, though. You know what? I think we could get away running a nine man because I want Buzelis and Anthony Black to get minutes. And I guess Lonzo's role is better suited as the sixth man of the team with Wiseman being the seventh man. I put Bull Bull back in the starting lineup. I do believe in Bull Bull. He's going to be a part of our future plans. So we got Dyson Daniels, Caruso, McDaniel, Siakam, and Bull Bull starting with Lonzo Wiseman, Anthony Black, and Buzelis getting minutes off the bench. So did anybody score 35 plus? Ooh, Siakam did drop 38 in a game. Did anyone else? McDaniels dropped 32. Did anyone else drop higher than 35 in a game? It does not look like it other than Siakam. Wow, he did it against his former team in Toronto. So Siakam will be getting a tier three spin. I'm just trying to implement more ways to get upgrades because you said, you guys said sometimes the upgrades were lacking. So Siakam's tier three upgrade, oh, we could almost make him one year younger, plus 20 to his defensive attributes. So plus 20 to anything in this category, we could spread it around. Let's do plus 13 to his interior, make him have a 99 interior and then plus seven to his perimeter. To make it an 86 he's gonna be one of the best defenders in the league i'm not gonna lie though your servant had a strong end to the season he almost he's almost a walking double double and he was putting up double digit points hold on so we are gonna play game one of the playoffs bro i don't want playoffs to drag on so playoffs were only is only gonna be like two episodes bro i do want to get through as many seasons as possible before nba 2k25 comes out which is in like a month so let's spin the wheel of players to determine who we play as in this playoffs opener. Okay, it's gonna be... Ooh, it landed on Imani Bates. Should we go off of the money again? But we do get to respin it. We do get to spin it twice in the side amongst the two it lands on. And the second player is gonna land on is JT Thor. I wanted to play as JT Thor in the previous episode, Loki. Let's cook with him. Let's see what the challengers for JT Thor. Hopefully it's a three-point challenge because you know he could cook up from three with his release. Hey, field goals made, same thing. Four field goals made, double it for tier two, triple it for tier three upgrades. Here we go, man. JT Thor is inserted in the rotation. Since we did land on him, he will be coming off the bench, however. As the playoffs begin for the Flint Tropics to chase for a championship, we're up by three as JT's in the game. Yo, low key, I could go off with JT. He has the best release in this game. The smoothest release, without a doubt, is Levine open off the screen. JT gets the board. Anthony Black pull up fadeaway. JT offensive board hold on that's a field goal made without even it being a tray ball look at him crashing the glass JT with his third rebound in like 20 seconds and now he's attacking the middle hop step one more to Lonzo he almost made a play there bro does he have a mismatch here too look at JT gets fouled on the drive what is going on he's going off already Screen for Zach Levine. He might cook us. Good help side by JT Thor. They called a foul on me. I stood there with my hand straight up. I would challenge, but it's too early in the game. Give it to Lonzo. A little pick and pop. Lonzo from behind the screen, behind the back. That was actually pretty smooth. Screens for Levine. Now Bruce Brown wrapping. But Anthony Black playing good defense on Levine as still playing great defense three seconds two one nowhere to go for levine jt's running down the court 
might be able to get a breakaway slam here, and he does. Ball surveys the floor. Coach knows what to do when JT's in the game. Screen for him from three. That's all the room he needs. JT with that butter release, man. What can you do? As Levine on the back cut. Oh my goodness. Dunks on Anthony Black. Wide open. Buzelis in the corner. Good find. I don't know why he was that wide open. He does have a 65 tray ball, but... Levine pops out. I'm here helping. Recovering back to Cam Johnson now. Good defense. And now Levine coming off the screen. JT Thor pokes it. Can't get the loose ball, though. Look at his defense, though. They got three seconds to operate. JT Thor boxing out. Playing great defense there. Five seconds. Black to JT. Cut Wiseman. Just throw it. We got one second. Doesn't get it off in time. Up by seven. End of the first, though. JT short spurt there. Does not start the second quarter. Hopefully gets more minutes here. Up 13, though, in this crucial playoff game. Screens for Anthony Black on the wing. Let's go, man. Double-digit lead here. We've blown those before, though. I see Cam Johnson drop off the purdle. Kobe White with that quick release. He has a good release, too, bro. JT Thor coming up off another screen on the wing that one is off the mark Levine curls off the screen drives against Anthony Black an underrated defender on this team now Kobe White with three seconds hits another three-pointer Am Johnson off the screen switch that I got corner good rotation by JT Thor XM can't hit JT's running see me Anthony Black that's too much room, Exum. Oh my goodness, look at Buzelis though. We can't be missing those, especially now with JT Thor Dyson hits the midi. Levine. Poked away by JT. He is in those gaps. Levine with Bull Bull on him. Met up top. And JT. His behind the back's a little slow, but we'll take it as we hop by. Give it the Bull Bull inside. Bull Bull muffs the layup. Maybe we should have put your servant in the lineup. As Brogdon trying to put the moves on. Not going to happen. As Levine over the 6'9 Buzelis. No good. JT Thor spotting up. Pump fake. Has Levine on him. Hold on. I'm getting bumped. Back to me. In the post. JT. Against Brogdon. The spin. Does JT not have the strength? I guess not. Yeah, stick to the perimeter, I guess. Final possession here. It's going to be a three-point play for JT. Is it open? Not really. And we're only up by nine at halftime now. Again, JT sits to start the quarter. And it's a tie game. Oh, no. Aaron Gordon with the ball. Gives it to Kobe White. Good defense. Aaron Gordon. Oh my goodness. Anthony Black suffocating defense. Another play for JT. This time to the inside. Is it there? Nah, Aaron Gordon recovered. I do want the screen, however. Look at JT. Spinning. Hey, JT, tough finish through traffic. That's the challenge complete, by the way. We're going to get some more, though. Coming down again. JT, wide open on the wing. Oh, my goodness. That release is too smooth. I can't green it. This video is not doing them justice, but don't. This is the best jump shot in the game. Brogdon putting the moves on. But Anthony Black not going for none of that. JT Thor, a great contest on Exum. And he's down the court. And he's taking it to the rack over Cam Johnson. Well, at his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Brogdon again. Oh, my goodness. Clamped up by Anthony Black. That's a tough shot. I don't care. That was great defense. JT again. Pops out. Aaron Gordon doesn't go for none of that. Spin. Yeah, he's not going for none of that. AG, a great defender. Maybe a pick and pop here will be open. Anthony Black 
to JT, to Buzelis for the bailout. JT crashes, gets the board, pump fake. Okay, let's reset. Look at JT crashing though, bro. As Lonzo comes up off the screen now, tough take, no foul. Screen for JT, Aaron Gordon going right through those. We see Lonzo to Anthony Black, what an extra pass, good ball movement. Brogdon fouled by JT Thor and it's in the shooting motion. He's gonna get two free throws out trying to poke the ball. Good screen for Zoe right here. As he sees Buzelis, they're saying attached to me, but not Buzelis. His 65 tray ball don't matter. He's hit two of them. Another screen for JT. On the wing, he's not gonna miss that one. 15 points for JT. Hopefully he gets crunch time minutes. His three-pointers are going to come up huge. As Brogdon. Nowhere to go. Blocked by Lonzo. Lonzo. To JT. Oh my goodness. The paint is clogged. Let's reset it. Let's reset it, Buzelis. Good, good off-ball screen for Zoe by JT. Thor Lonzo misses. Five seconds remaining. I got ball. I got ball. I got ball. I got ball. Levine. Tough layup from the corner. 100% smothered. Literally tried to double. One point game entering the fourth quarter. Uh oh. JT does not start the fourth. Is he going to get crunch time minutes? Four minutes to go. Down by two with Pirtle at the line. Not the best free throw shooter. Two point game in the fourth, man. Russo wants a screen. I'm going to pop off of it. He shoots it. Levine off the screen. I'm pinching. Give me that. JT tips it. Get it, Caruso. Look at the defense by JT Thor in the clutch. A monster slam. And that's got to hurt. As he's defending Aaron Gordon now. Great defense again. No Siakam's playing center. Floater from Gordon is good. Siakam has center, kind of undersized. Dyson, what a brick wall for Dyson. He misses JT. What the? JT, the ball was right in front of you. You didn't grab it. Someone pick up Levine. We needed that board right there, JT. Just a bad animation. Aaron Gordon back to Levine. Contested. Hits it. You know they don't miss in the clutch. Tyson to JT. Cut Caruso. Caruso on the cut. Not open. Cut Dyson. Dyson on the cut. Gets the layup to go. Poise, man. Levine. Attacking Caruso. You know what? Smother him, bro. Deny him. Make sure it's on smother. As Levine's going to come up off the screen. Look at that. No room for Levine. Just get the board. JT does. Caruso pull up mid-range in transition clutch. Watch this play. Watch this play. There's a mismatch. I got to get the big man. Levine. Pop step. Great defense. Pirtle to Levine. I can't get this board over Pirtle. Levine in the corner. Misses. JT has his takeover. JT has his takeover. Double screens for JT. To the corner. Pump fake. They picked up on the switch, man. It was going to be open. I'm popping out here. Pump fake again. Cut McDaniels. Give it to Siakam with the mismatch. Back to McDaniels. I don't like that offense. Short. Still down by one. No steal. No steal as Levine. Tough finish through traffic. We need a three-point play here for JT Thor. It needs to be a three-point play. Dyson. Dude, we got to settle down. They're not going to run a play for me. Aaron Gordon. Fouls JT Thor on the drive. Man, he is smothering me. As JT at the line. First one is good. JT. 
Second one, also good. Down by one, we're gonna have to foul. Hopefully get a steal or something, but nope. We're gonna foul, hopefully Levine can miss one. Levine hits both. Time out, Flint Tropics. Screens. JT. Rises up, no foul. No foul, ref. Hit the steal. Oh, we're not gonna foul. We're not fouling. Foul him, foul him, foul him, foul him, foul him, foul him. As McDaniels fouls out. EG misses the first. We do have a timeout remaining. We need him to miss this one. He does. Timeout. Oh my goodness. The ball's going to JT. I don't care. And I'm shooting whatever. Wait, we don't get to advance it? How come we don't get to advance it? Dyson right here. Dyson. Doesn't pass it. Dyson doesn't pass it. Give it to the man with takeover. We lose game one of the playoffs. JT Thor, only 17 minutes, put up 19 points though. Seven rebounds, two assists, one steal, seven of 14 shooting, two of eight from three does not do his jumper justice. Kind of forced out there. But yo, 19 points is not bad. Yo, McDaniels dropped 35. He gets a tier three spin. Meanwhile, JT Thor just missed the tier two upgrade. As Levine dropped 40, a near 43 point triple double on our heads, bro. Tier 1 spin for JT Thor. Then it's going to be a tier 3 upgrade for McDaniels. But let's see what upgrade JT Thor gets. Ooh, okay. Plus 3 bronze badges. You give him some shooting badges. JT Thor. We're going to give you bronze blinders, bronze dead eye, and bronze limitless range. I don't know how McDaniels dropped 38 in a playoff game, but I'll take... I mean, he dropped 35 actually. And his 3 point gets an upgrade. Plus 10 to his three-pointer. McDaniels goes from an 83-pointer to a 93-pointer, bro. That's insane. Subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you made it this far, man.